Hello people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to interface a 4 digit 7 segment LED display in a multiplex form to AD51. Yeah, big words. So you may think it's going to be something very crazy. It's not. It's pretty simple and it's very interesting. Okay, it uses a very interesting uh, biological uh, property of persistence of vision to manage to display four digits in such a way that we feel all four digits are on together. Uh, just to uh, give you an idea, where is this used? It's used everywhere. Uh, I'm sure you've seen uh, in uh, taxi meters, in railway stations, in traffic signals, where you see those counters, in your lift, in your elevator, where it shows the floor number and so on. There are so many places where you see a multi-digit seven segment display. So now what happens? When you want to display something over here, let's say you want to display 2018, the current year 2018. What you do is, you don't really send all the digits 2018 together. First you send the code of 2. Now when you do that, you just activate this digit, one digit. So this is the digit selection logic from which you will select this digit. Then you send the code of 0, you select this digit, code of 1 and then code of 8, back to code of 2. You do this one by one in a loop so fast that because of persistence of vision, the naked eye cannot detect that they are being turned on one by one. For us, all the four digits are on together, but actually they are not on together because it's common sense. A processor cannot send all the four codes at one time. Come on, we are not idiots. It's simple idea. Processor will send the code of 2, then 0, then 1, then 8. Come back and send 2. How fast before your eye could realize that 2 came, then 0 came, then 1, then 8. So now how much time does your eye take? A human eye takes about 100 milliseconds to change the image. Fairly, give or take. Now, 100 milliseconds is a big window. I'm sure you know processors work in microseconds. Okay, they work in megahertz. So, a processor can finish this round within microseconds. It doesn't really need even 1 millisecond. Though we have a window of 100 milliseconds to come back and display 2. So, what happens actually is just 2018 in a loop. But what a human being sees when you see it up front is 2018 put up together. Now, I'm giving you a small exercise. When, uh, Whenever you're traveling, whenever you see this kind of display, anywhere you see it all around you, right? When you see it from the naked eye, you will see all digits on together. Start your phone's camera. A camera records faster than the eye can. That's how it records a video. I mean, common sense, right? So, uh, so record a video of that display and then play the video. You will see a wavy effect on, the, on those digits. When you see it in your naked eye, you see all the four together. But you will see a wavy effect. You will still not see 2018, but you will see a kind of a wavy effect. Now, if you want to see even better than that, shoot the video in slow-mo. A slow-mo captures at yet higher frames per second. Now, when you play the video in slow-mo, you will see a, a more clear a wave. It's still not It's still not going to capture as fast as the processor can display. So it will still look like all the four are on, but you will see a proper wave. You will be able to see that, yeah, there is something happening over here. All the four are never on together. They're being turned on one by one. So that's the idea. Okay, that's what we're going to do in the program. How we're going to go about this video is, first, I'm going to tell you how to work with a single seven segment display, not a multi-digit, a single seven segment display. It's formed using various segments. There is something called seven segment codes. There's something called common cathode and common anode. So I'm going to tell you what is that. I'll show you how these codes are formed. Then we will store all the codes in the memory in the form of a lookup table. So I'll tell you what is a lookup table, how to access a lookup table. A lookup table is accessed using index addressing mode, which is typical for ROM. If you've learned addressing modes of 8051, you know there is something called move C A comma at the rate A plus DPTR. Yeah, it sounds familiar, right? So that's index addressing mode. That's a typical addressing mode created to access lookup tables. So I'm going to show you how to use that addressing mode. Once that's done, then I'm going to show you what the circuit it is all about which port is used how to use the port to send the codes how to use another port to activate the digits and so on so i'm going to show you the circuit and then finally yeah this is not a theory video nothing in our subject is just theoretical that's the beauty of the subject you first learn the theory and then you implement using a program so all interfaces that i've done before this lcd uh, normal single led um, a to D converter, D to A converter. In all of that, we've used programs as well. So over here also, there'll be a whole program to display any number. I'm using 2018 as an example. It could have been any number, the same kind of program works. So I'm going to teach you the whole program. In the exam, when you get this question, it comes with the program. If you draw this diagram perfectly, write some good theory, but don't write the program, chances are exam number not even correct the question. Or even if they do, they'll give you about 2, 3 out of 10 at the most, nothing more than that. Marks are not for the theory, <laughs> marks are for the program. Program. So you ought to know how to write the program. So that's what this video is all about. 
okay now you know what i've been doing this is an introduction you want to watch the whole video you want to learn the whole subject you want to enjoy learning the subject enjoy the concepts that this subject is a vast ocean of concepts you want to enjoy those concepts come on my website it's www.bharataacharyaeducation.com the link will be given down below register yourself as a user select the channel ad51 this video is in ad51 channel so select that channel yes you have to subscribe to it yes there is a payment we are not apologetic about it uh, for us for this to be viable to us for us to spend day in day out doing this we have shot about 200 videos shooting editing uploading managing the server managing the back office managing the software team none of it is free so for us to make this exercise viable we have kept a charge but the charge is as low as possible something that everybody can afford and at the same time it makes sense to us so it's 999 1000 rupees that's all you make the payment instantly you'll be able to start using watching the videos how you make the payment debit card credit card net banking atm paytm uh, upi everything works all modes of payment like you buy anything online all of them work we use the same kind of payment gateway that everybody does so anyway once you make the payment your subscription will be active for the next six months you can watch all the videos as many times as you want to along with where every video there's a small link given over there called view notes when you click that a pdf of my book opens for that particular chapter so whichever video you're watching you first understand the concepts from the video then you see the pdf and you prepare the answer because understanding the concept is one thing preparing what to write for the exam is a separate thing altogether from that whole vast set of concepts you need to know exactly what has to be written in the exam so you get the video plus the answer so you all so one stop shop with that you you covered for the exam anyway so hope to see you there wish you all the best do well